So I started getting into jiu-jitsu about over a year ago. I fell in love with MMA. This is a key part of training mixed martial arts, so I decided to start taking jits, and here I am. I'm Danielle Martin. I'm Demi's Brazilian jiu-jitsu instructor, and today I'm gonna take you through a couple moves with Demi. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is about technique and leverage beating strength. So I believe that it's probably one of the most efficient martial arts. In Jiu-Jitsu, usually at the beginning of class, we do some type of warm-up. Sometimes you're gonna see jump jacks, push-ups, squats, strengthen and loosen up our necks, our backs, by doing technical types of things that pertain to the training we're gonna be doing that day. I don't want you to get hurt being kind of in between. Think knees, I'm one of my knees. Knees, knees, knees. knees. She is amazing on the mats. She has such a natural instinct as a fighter. She picks up things so easily and she can read techniques and she's got that feel. She just has that it thing. My first training session with Danielle, she's very, very technical. So whenever I trained with her, I knew that I was gonna get a lot better just because she is so specific with every little detail. So if you pull out here, the person's gonna go out there. You want to pull down here so that they're here. Okay, one more. <laughs> Sometimes those mistakes turn into something really good. And you're like, oh, right? So it won't be perfect every time. So capitalize on the mistake, recover the position. Because what you don't want to do is try to go, I'm going to stick to that technique. And now they're already reversing something on you. And you go right into their little trap. Let's train, let's grab a quick drink of water, and then we're gonna train rounds. Uh, we're always talking like this. Yeah, I could be a ventriloquist. Oh my God, that's really good. I could do it really well. <laughs> I used to be in pageants, <laughs> and so there are ventriloquists there, and so I kind of hooked up on it. The weirder part is I could probably sing doing it. I was just gonna say, try to sing like that. Hey, the You know why I get hit sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> Weasel your hip on this leg. Weasel the hip. Just get heavy. Turn the hip this way. See how you can slide it down. There you go. I learned about some of the things that she struggles with and battles with and the adversity in her life, which only made me respect her more. And it made me want to work with her more because I knew that I could make a difference and an impact in her life with jujitsu, but also just being there for her and sharing my experiences in life and my adversity. It's not about how we fall, but how we get up. That's what defines us. It's impacted my daily life because it's a hobby of mine now. It's something that takes me out of my mind and it's almost meditative in a way. It's made me stronger, I think, as a person because it's just given me more confidence. My ultimate goal here would to be a black belt someday, but I gotta, I gotta work a lot harder um, for a long time to get that. So that'll be in many years. <laughs>